morning. It's been 48 hours since the 9.0 magnitude earthquake and massive tsunami rocked Japan. The prime minister has said on television tonight that this is an unprecedented crisis, the worst challenge this country has had to deal with since World War II. Officials there now fear more than 10,000 people may have been killed in the earthquake and the tsunami. They are fighting partial meltdowns at two nuclear reactors. And more than 170,000 people have been evacuated from around the plants. There was an explosion and, uh, in the first reactor uh, regarding. Uh, but it was not a reactor nor container. Uh, it was an uh, outer building. It didn't have any radioactive material. This is already one of the worst nuclear accidents in history if it stops right now. The worst case scenario is that the, the fuel rods fuse together. The temperatures get so hot that they melt together into a radioactive molten mass that bursts through the containment uh, mechanisms and ex is exposed to the outside. I think so there are going to be a lot of people, especially anti-nuclear people, who are going to jump on this and try to exploit it. But we have to see what happens. Well, if this crisis had happened here in the U.S., the U.S. government would be turning to Japan for help. These are the top people in the field. We ought not to make American domestic policy based upon an event that happened in Japan. We ought to concentrate on helping the Japanese uh, get past uh, this catastrophe.